Hey everyone, Clarky Show here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm back today. I want to explain something that has been going on for a while. And um, I've said this in loads of my live streams, but I've never actually gave a full explanation why I really like BO4 and why it's my favourite COD of all time. So, yeah, this video, I'm actually going to explain why Black Ops 4 is my favourite COD of all time. Now, I have no other start, Black Ops 4 was not the best, right? My player. I think it was great, it was lots of fun, my mate Morgan enjoyed it, he's from my clan and yeah. Blackout I think was perfect at the start and everything, so yeah man, uh, I think my player was absolutely perfect at the time. And then Zombies was the main thing I was interested in, and it went downhill. So at the start everything was great, it was 4 Zombies maps that we had, if you had the Blackout Splash, you had Void of Despair, 9, Blood of the Dead and Classified, and honestly it was half and half. It was half and half in my opinion. So the first map I played in Black Ops 4 Zombies was 9. Because I honestly thought 9 was uh, the first map that was released by but it was actually Voyage. So basically 9 released and uh, I was playing over Shadow Plays at like midnight. Because uh, like for me it just released and that was like one of my first times like, well no actually that's not one of my first times. But like one of the moments where I was like super excited to stay up. For a call of duty man i actually stayed up till five o'clock live streaming that crap man i was like i was so happy man i was enjoying myself with my mates we're on blood of the dead uh once we went to void of despair we were like oh my god like we were so happy man we're actually so happy like this is the bloody titanic it looked so cool and everything and people were easter egg cutting left and right man and everyone was like Super happy with the game. Obviously, people were disappointed with the HUD, which still pisses me off till this day. It's a goddamn HUD, like, chill out for a sec. And, um, honestly, man, I was really enjoying myself. Then we went to Blood of the Dead, and honestly, we had a blast, man, with Brutus and getting to know that there was a new blunder guy called the Mad Megat. That's insane, man. That's insane. And, uh, honestly, we, we were, we weren't never, we were so, so happy that we heard of a new blunder guy coming into the game. But when we first tried the Asuka, it just wasn't right, man. It just wasn't right. It wasn't the Asuka we all know and loved, so... Yeah, but apart from that, though, yeah. Then we go on to my personal favourite remaster. Not now, at this point of time. But it used to be. It was Classified. And Classified, oh my god, man. It was amazing. Shadow Police said out of all the maps, he thought Classified was the best map he played on release for Black Ops 4 Zombies. And oh my god, um, I... I think I agreed with him, but I was either between Classified or 9. And honestly, man, Classified, it was amazing, man. I had a blast. And honestly, even if we were searching for the Easter egg, it wouldn't mark us get to the Easter egg and try 150. So, yeah. All I did was a high round. It was a blast. I mean, just had fun in general. And I was happy, man. I was happy. I was really, really happy. And then me and him split up to go into different maps. I think I went back on to Void of Despair. And he went back on to Classified again. I don't know why. And then he switched maps, I think he then went to Blood of Dead and then I went on to Classified. So there was that. But um, man, I just I just really, really had fun. And then all the Easter eggs got solved. The first Easter egg that ever got solved was 9. Uh, first in the world for 9 was um, Rest of Wolf Waffles. And by the way, lads, I am mainly going to talk about zombies, so I just want to keep that in mind. Um, Rest of Wolf Waffles was first in the world for 9. And um, basically, he was a smart guy, 316, and someone else, I can't remember, but um, they were first in the world, and me and my buddy uh, Shadow Plays were up all night waiting for the East Red tutorial to come out. It was like three, 2 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, he finished the East Red. We then decided to look at the cutscene, but we watched the boss fight, and it was an elephant, lads, a bloody elephant. We were like, what? Like, it was probably one of the best boss fights I've ever seen, man. And um, when the tutorial came out, man, um, we just instantly done it first try and Shadow Plays literally carried me that game man. He literally carried me boys Like we were on the RAS tape and like I thought that was the hardest challenge of them all And he literally had to clutch it lads. He was clutching it. I wish I had it before you but he clutched that shit man He literally clutched that shit. So honestly, you don't have him for that man And thank you for giving me um, like the completion for 9 the first time I ever done it But um, then Bloody Dead then got solved and this is where our BO4 zombies start to go downhill. So basically, once uh, be once by the day got solved, me and my two other mates, uh, Anthony and Morgan, um, decided to you know what, we'll just uh, go ahead and try and do the bloody day. So, Easter tutorial came out, and um, we're on the challenges set, 
um, we were doing like the third challenge and um, there would always be a blue screen. I would always just play a blue screen all the time, every time we got to the third um, challenge. And honestly man, we were all pissed man, we were all like super super mad. So we kept going just like get XP, but it just kept blue screen and it just ruined the experience to us, man. And also, Ali Blood did tell this day, but honestly, man, the blue screen just ruined the starring experience for us. And honestly, man, the thing that made people hate the Blood of Dead Easter egg is the fact that everything was the shield. There was no afterlife, sure, but that's because of storyline reasons. But the fact that the shield was supposed to be the afterlife, I thought it was a bad, like, thing to enter in. So, yeah. And then Voyage gets solved the next day and we heard that it's harder than the Gora Trophy boss fight and we're like, well shit, we get to the fifth stage and then um, we didn't know what to do and then it just explodes and we all die and we're like, um, what the hell's going on here? And then eventually blue screens get fixed for easter eggs, so then eventually we do Blood of the Dead and we're like, whoa, that ripped off and dies man, that is probably one of the most emotional endings we've ever seen in Call of Duty Zombies. And then Voyage, we eventually do that and we're just like, what? Like, Bruno's a bad guy, like, everything was just, it's so insane, man. I was enjoying myself with the crew, with the clan members, all that crap. It was really, really fun. And, um, then, um, two, and then, going back to Blackout, Blackout had a, a mad autumn season. No, I think it was still in its default map stage. Yeah, it should have been. Uh, Blackout was still at its default map stage, and uh, Blackout I had really, really fun with. Um, I'd sometimes go in there, and I think like the second day on release of Blackout, I think I got my first ever one, and also I found Blackout super super fun then, and um, I, yeah, we'll get back to Blackout just to say. Multiplayer, I wasn't the biggest fan of until now. Multiplayer, I'm still not the biggest fan of, but I have started to get more like of it, so yeah. Two months later, we went to the same bar with no marketing at all, with Treyarch not saying anything, we just get DLC 1 without telling it's like, what the hell? So, Dead Night is the DLC 1 Zombies map, which is taking place before Voyage of Despair. So, it's a prequel map. And um, it's full of celebrity cast. We got Indiana Jones, we got Gypsy, we got a Fat Soldier, and then we got Batman's Butler. And so, basically, um, we're playing as those characters, and um, me and Shadow plays, and um, we're then just thinking about, like, what the hell? This is, like, very, very cool. But then, um, we basically played it more, and then eventually we died. Uh, the map only got solved in like a day, but that was only because of leaks. Now guys, the fa the bad thing about leaks is like, it's good that we're finding these very quick and all, like no one cares how long it takes anymore. But it's the fact that like bloody, like the leakers should, like people want to find it for themselves, you know? To get the experience for themselves, you know? So that's why people like really hate leaks when it comes to like easter egg hunts. So, Dead Night gets solved, we do the Dead Night easter egg. And um, I thought it was very cool. I really liked the ending cutscene. It was like a mad badass cutscene with Scarlet on a card, just like, just with Deadshot Daiquiri headshotting arseholes, like left and right, man. It was very, very cool. I found it was very, very cool. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, then Night, it was like, it was an alright map back then. Uh, I still liked Then Night. I would say it's my top 10 favourite maps. And um, my other mates, they just say in general because of the vampires. So, uh, screw you all. And then, um, when it comes to um, Blackout, Blackout then changes. Blackout, I still like the same way as it did when it released, but the map changed where I just didn't like it at all. Um, the map changed to a mad autumn season, which I'm glad that they were changing, like, how the map looks every season, right? But the autumn season, I just didn't like it at all. It just looked too dull and all that crap. I just didn't like it at all. And then multiplayer, I got some cool stuff then. I'd sometimes play it, I'd sometimes not. But um, yeah, multiplayer, it just still wasn't like my personal favourite thing to do, so yeah. Then we come to um, DLC 2, Ancient Evil, which releases on, uh, no, actually, we'll get to Operation Grand Heist. We'll start from multiplayer and Blackout, and um, multiplayer and Blackout this time, because uh, DLC 2 for Zombies got delayed by a month, so we'll get to that in just a sec. So, multiplayer and Blackout. Everything changed. Blackout was Blackout for Operation Grand Heist was probably my favourite operation for Blackout of all time, man. Like you got buried, you got loads of shit there, you got messy, like it was all the same man. I really, really did enjoy Blackout. Like it was probably my favourite operation of all time. Until obviously um this operation came out, Operation Apocalypse Z. 
and um, basically um, Odyssey Man, I was super super happy with everything and stuff. Um, Operation uh, Grand Heist was amazing for Blackout, I had loads of fun going to buried, buying cars, all that shit. I thought it was really really cool to do, so yeah, honestly, good thing, good thing, good thing man, good thing. Um, so we then head on to multiplayer, multiplayer I still felt the same way, I just hard to play it and all. And I did start, uh, I always started playing more, playing more when it came to Spectre Rising, so yeah. There we go, a month later, we are now on the release of Operation, um, no, we're then getting Ancient Evil. Now, Ancient Evil, um, new child place with Easter egg cutting, and we honestly thought it was amazing, man. It was a chaos map, and it brought back the zombies community back until, um, Fire came, Spectre Rising came out. So basically, uh, we finished the Easter egg and like, you could ride Pegasus, you could do all that crap, and honestly man, we found it very very cool, we found it very cool that you could, uh, like, you could defeat Pegasus, all that crap man, we just found it very very cool, in general, like, watch your there with the Easter egg, and that was my favourite map of all time, until Apple Bay came out. And then, um, we head into Spectre Rising, where we were getting no zombies map for 4 months straight. Now, we got Gauntlet, yeah, sure, but we wanted us on this map, man. And um, they did confirm that DLC 3 and 4, we were getting Ether back. And Spectre Rising, it was just born for zombies. Uh, I would still stream Easter eggs for days, um, where I'd just stream the Easter eggs all over again, helping you guys and that. Uh, and honestly, I find it like super, super, super fun to do, because Easter eggs are a thing, man, are a thing. I like doing high runs as well, but they just get born real quick, so yeah. And um, basically, um, there would be one Easter egg I'd never done, and that was, um, what's it called? Um, that was um, classified. Now, classified, um, the Easter egg on that is getting to around 150, and basically, what you need to do there is just get to around 150, and then eventually, I saw people doing the shield strat again. I was like, isn't that patched with like the shield uh, buff point? And um, basically, all you had to do was get a certain talisman and do that strat. I was like, alright. Uh, I done that strat and I got the 150 done. And I got the 150 done and I was super super happy because I always wanted that done. So I get the 150 done and I literally have nothing to do. I had nothing to do after that. So basically, we keep going forward and um, we're basically in the second half of Operation um, Spectre Rising. And then, uh, but I, for Blackout, I found it was really really cool how like they changed it up a bit. Everything looked so bright and all that crap. Like, everything was like, um, pink trees, green trees, everything was so bright, it's probably my favourite. And in the second half of Switch Horizon, um, we get, um, we get, um, everything summer. Everything's just all about summer, man. And then um, basically, I thought it was very cool, uh, for Blackout, everything looked great on the map, and all that crap, but that's where I started hard to play Blackout. And now, we get into multiplayer. Now, multiplayer, I started to get into, I started to like it more. But it was an odd time for me to start liking multiplayer only because of the fact that that's when multiplayer started to get bad. Back then, when it came to the black market, it was like a battle pass type thing. Um, you'd always get um, like weapons uh, from um, the battle pass, and um, now they didn't. Uh, Activision decided to put them in reserves, and um, my friends like uh, only one of my mates like. Uh, Shadow Plays, he really really hated it. I think all of us hate it in my clan to be honest, but we just suffer for it Because like honestly, we just did not care. We just we would just keep opening reserves If we didn't get it, we didn't get it. So we would love for it, right? And um, basically, um, that's what happened basically. The Peacekeeper was out. I can't remember. Peacekeeper, um, Locus, and Essex Dynamite and Ballistic Knife. Now, um, there was weapon bribes, there was two weapon bribes, and um, one of the weapon bribes uh, the first weapon bribe I opened, I got the ballistic knife, and I was super happy. And the second one I got was the tiger strike, which I was very depressed about, because um, on the second half of Spectre Rising, I missed out on getting, um, I don't know what it's called, the tiger strike. So yeah, I was very upset about that. And um, now, there's a, now, uh, I opened up reserve when Alpha Omega came out, and yeah man, it was just, uh, I got a ballistic knife again, and I was just super upset man, I was really, really upset. Also, I don't mind it to be honest. And now we get into Operation Apocalypse Z, and also I think it's the best operation of all time for multiplayer and for zombies, and uh, maybe not for Blackout because Blackout I never play anymore. I play it sometimes now, but like not all the time. And um, honestly, man, I'm loving it, man. We get the new map Alpha Omega, which is a remake of Nuketown Zombies, and honestly, 
and I know people are like mad about that but like honestly I'm happy with that man I played the map I've done the easter egg and honestly it's an easy easter egg but I really really did enjoy it man I thought it was like super super fun so honestly man really really happy really really happy and like I couldn't be happier now so I love Black Ops 4 for what it is honestly the microtransactions are shit but um, I can live without them I just pretend they're not there to be honest and whether they're there or not, I enjoy Black Ops 4 for what it is. I love the zombies to maps. I'm enjoying the multiplayer more. Um, Blackout, I never played. But apart from that, man, I'm really enjoying Black Ops 4 for what it is. So honestly, lads, Black Ops 4 has had its moments. But I love Black Ops 4. I really, really do. And no matter like, what the community thinks, yeah. That's why I was the same. I was either going to release this yesterday or today because like um obviously i had the modern warfare review out but um, i thought i'd release the modern warfare review first so yeah but honestly lads um i like black ops 4 loads my uh, mates like black ops 4 zombies is amazing zombies was shit at the start it's good now and um now everything's good man everything's good with contracts being out getting reserves all that crap it's amazing man it's amazing so treyarch do not stop at doing this game, you're doing a good job, don't let it go downhill, alright? Thanks guys, thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe, leave a like, click on the notification bell, also to your channel, let me know what your favourite card is in the comment section down below, and what do you think about um, Black Ops 4 in general, what would you rate out of 10? To me, I'd rate a, like a 9 out of 10, uh, I, rating a 10 out of 10 is a bit too far, honestly I would, but like, who rates stuff 10 out of 10 anymore? Thanks guys! Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in this video live stream, boys. And goodbye. Like baby girl, trust me, that is all I need. Yeah.